How's everything been so far in turn in your first month? How are you settling in? Uh, it's been good so far. Um, it's it's a, a different level for sure, uh, you know, through and through as far as on the field and off the field. So, I mean, they, they made it really easy for me to settle in. They, you know, welcomed me with open arms and, and you know, I was able to find a house and a place to stay within, you know, a couple of weeks of being here and was able to bring my dogs over as quick as possible. Just everything was, was uh, you know, easy to settle in than I guess what most people have to go through. Yeah, for sure. Now, was it daunting at all walking into the dressing room for the first day? How was your experience like meeting all your new teammates and everything? Uh, it, was, it was definitely jaw dropping for sure. Um, you know, walking into the locker room and seeing the players that you play with on, on Pez, it's definitely, you know, really, really like, oh my God, you know, I packed you the other day or I got you the other day or something. So it definitely was uh, exciting for sure. And for me, you know, I look at it and I, I think, oh my gosh, like I can learn so much from these people. And, and, you know, hopefully they take me under their wing, which they definitely have. So it's definitely been amazing so far. Yeah, that's funny. I'm also a huge FIFA player, so I can totally understand. I'd, I'd probably be a bit starstruck as well. But let's go back to the actual transfer because you were linked to some clubs in the Premier League. and. You ended up choosing Serie A. You chose Juventus. What was it specifically that drew you to Juve and uh, and Serie A? Well, just in general, you know, of course, my my, you know, it wasn't a hidden secret that my my goal and my dream was to try and make it uh, to the Premier League. Um, but with that being said, when a team like Juventus comes in with the the caliber of players that they have the the training staff you know with me hearing that you know Pirlo is going to be the new coach just hearing all those things made it even more intriguing to to come here as well and and I mean it's it's you know a club that wins titles it's a club that you know challenges and competes to be the best in the world and you know it fit my goals and my aspirations as well you know I want to become one of the best uh in my position and I want to be able to you know win titles and I want to be able to you know make history and, and you know make history with the club as well so it's it's definitely a club full of tradition it's a club that's you know supported by many and it's like a big family so it definitely was very very intriguing to come here and that's why I chose to come here so for a lot of people watching this interview in the US or worldwide or even City A fans that maybe didn't watch a lot of Schalke matches in the Bundesliga, how would you describe yourself as a player so they have a better idea? Oh, uh, I'll box to box, like to tackle, uh, like to dribble. <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess you just compare me to Vidal and Gattuso or something like that. I don't know. So, uh, well, I know that your stamina is high in FIFA, so we can go based <laughs> off that as well. So that, that's the confirmation as well, because we know that FIFA stats are always 100 percent accurate. Yeah. Speaking speaking of Schalke, you spent three years in the Bundesliga. You were at FC Dallas's youth academy, but you chose to go and play in Germany, which is a place that a lot of young Americans have gone to to get that experience. I know you've only played two match days so far in Syria, but what has been the biggest difference that you've noticed between Syria and the Bundesliga? Um, it's, it's really tactical here. Uh, the Bundesliga is tactical as well, uh, but here it's, it's a bit more tactical, I feel like. Um, and it's not even as far as just a league difference. Um, here at Juventus in general, you know, my position that I play, I have to do my job and I don't have to worry about any other, you know, trying to do more than I have to, you know, because you have the, the caliber of players that know their job and, and are good at doing what they do. So, you know, as far as like maybe when I was at Schalke, uh, I was playing many different positions and, you know, when I got the ball, I, you know, would try to do more than I had to just because, you know, I, I wanted to and I was able to. But here, uh, when I get the ball, I just, you know, two touch, three touch, try to play quick and get it to the next guy. And, and you know, when you have a person like, you know, Aaron Ramsey in front of you that's good technically, turn, connect with the forwards, it's, it's 
uh, something that you don't really have to, you know, worry about doing anymore as much. Well, you definitely made a good first impression. There's been talks that you've absorbed things like a sponge that you've shown your intelligent level uh, on a, a tactical stage. So uh, obviously we, we hope to continue seeing your success in Serie A. Let's go back to what you said, though, just a few minutes ago, which I found pretty fascinating about Cristiano Ronaldo, that you've used him in FIFA and now he's your teammate. What's it been like training with maybe arguably the biggest uh, football superstar in the world and playing alongside him as well in Serie A? Uh, it's been it's been honestly it's been a, a big honor um it's like you said uh, when i walked into the locker room uh, i still remember the first time i i met him uh, i was walking down the hallway and he was coming from the physio room and i was like oh snap okay like be cool be cool <laughs> um but he, he's a he's a genuine guy he's you know straight to the point he wants to win he has a great mentality you can tell um and you know we we joke around and and he calls me Texas boy and everything. So it's 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 something that you know with a player of his caliber and a player with the many accomplishments that uh, accomplishments that he's had in his career, uh, he could be snobby, snobby, and he could be stuck up and everything. But he's very open and warm and and brings all the players no matter what age you're from and, into the game and into the you know comfort of the team. And the guy who's in charge of you, Cristiano Ronaldo, Andrea Pirlo, probably someone else that you grew up watching uh, here in the States. There's obviously been a lot of intrigue about him joining as the Juventus manager. And something that I find quite fascinating is the dynamic as well in the dressing room that he was a teammate of a lot of your current teammates. So what's it been like working under Pirlo and, uh, and the current group and how he's managed it? I mean, it's, it's, been, it's been good so far. Uh, nothing to complain about, you know, he, it's even the reason, like I said before, it's very intriguing to come to Juve because he was one of the best at his positions in the game. And it's similar to the position I play midfield in general. So I knew that I would be able to learn so much just from him being my coach. Uh, you know, he plays with us sometimes and you just look and you're like, wow, he looks it looks so elegant, so like nonchalant at the same time, but you know you can't take the ball from him, and he just you know plays dimes behind the back line. So it's it's still very like, oh my gosh, like this is my coach. That's pretty cool. Um, but the dynamic of the team and in the locker room and you know in and around the dressing room, you know, we've been in quarantine the past four days uh, with many of the players and and with the team, and it's been. I'm cool with everyone. Everyone's cool with everyone. You know, you, you enjoy dinner time together. It's normally you'd be like, oh my gosh, you know, quarantining with the whole team. Like, it's gonna be boring. But you know, the whole team is very integrated and very, you know, like I said, open armed. Yeah, let's just say that Pirlo is still the most interesting man in the world. Certainly the most interesting manager in Serie A. Um, I want to talk more about the U.S. men's national team angle, which I find quite fascinating. How exciting has it been to be part of this generation of Americans who are all now playing for big teams across Europe? Uh, I mean, it's it's exciting. It's it's something you know that that. Uh, you look forward to going into camp and, and knowing that you have a team, not just only the players that are in Europe, but you have a team that is getting the exposure, that's getting the experience, that's uh, playing day in and day out with the best players in the world. Um, it makes it very exciting. It makes it fun to, to be around, fun to work with, and, and just to go into camp and and not only on the field, but share the experiences off the field as well. You know, me, you know, I play with Ronaldo, and maybe some players want to know what he's like. And and you know, Serginho plays with Messi. Maybe I want to know what he's like. And everyone's showing you know different tactics and 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 just like in general how you know how it's been to transition to to a team like that. So uh, yeah, it, it's exciting, and, and I can't wait to to hopefully get in November if if we're able to proceed with the camp yeah it really does feel like a golden generation now of u.s talent i mean just look at Sergio Odessa, barcelona christian pulisic at barca uh, gio reina bruce dortmund and obviously you now at juventus how important do you think it is to be on a big team like juve 
the ambition to try to match your teammates in practice. Is this the way forward for a young American with the talent that suddenly you're surrounded by some of the best players in the world? And does it raise your game? I, I think for, for me, I've always been a person um, when I'm surrounded by players uh, that may have a better, I don't know, career or something so far that are just really experienced and know how to play the game and they're great players, it drives me to be even better. Um, and, you know, I'm able to learn little things. I'm not, I'm not a player that, you know, gets jealous at someone or I'm not a player that, you know, hates someone because he's in my position because I wasn't brought up like that whenever I came to Schalke. Um, Leon Goretzka took me under his wing even though I played the same position as him and, and you know, mentored me uh, very often. And that's how it is here too. You know, the, the players are always, you know, giving advice to each other, always helping out to each other and, you know, saying like, hey, if you can like turn play quicker here, or, you know, if you can just check your shoulder a little bit more because, you know, you might be able to turn. So it's, it's definitely been, been good so far for me. I think, you yeah, know, it seems, was, sorry, it seems from everything you're saying, it's a really close knit group then. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And aside from football, uh, you've been in Italy now, I think, around a month. Have you learned any words that uh, that you can share with us in Italian? Obviously, stuff that's that's Disney friendly, though. So don't get too crazy. <laughs> the one that I use the most often is probably "oh fame," because I'm hungry. <laughs> that's hey, that's a perfect segue because I was going to ask you, what's your favorite Italian dish so far? Maybe something even local from uh, from the Turin region. Uh, honestly. I'm, I love calamari, so I'd probably say, I mean, you can get it anywhere really, but like here it's, it's right on, right on the spot. So the gotta, you got to get a Grissino, those thick Italian breadsticks that they sell all over <laughs> Turin. And aside from football, I heard that you're a big NBA fan. Have you been watching the finals? Mm, it's, it's, I've only watched one game because it shows here at like 3.30, 3 in the morning, so uh definitely only been able to catch one game but we'll see what happens pretty sure the lakers are definitely gonna win but don't tell me that man i'm from miami the heat are my team anyway hey thanks so much for your time and uh hope for your success this season it's great to have another american at a big team thank you thanks so much wesson appreciate it thank you well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.